it's not something I expected to be going into, but it's just nice to run my working career down, passing some of the knowledge on to other people. I've not really done this sort of work uh, in, any, in any way, shape or form. I've been here six months. I've come in this completely know nothing at all about boats or woodwork. We've got sharpening from the main oilstone box. Uh, to house the oilstone that we use, which is obviously what we use to keep everything sharp. Yeah, marking tools, so you've got mortise, mortise gauge here. Didn't know what it was before I started here. Lots and lots of different types of tools for hopefully achieving everything that you need. The box keeps it all in one place. The goal was to do something completely different, learn some new skills, um, maybe give myself a, a chance to change my career. Um, I mean, what, halfway through the course? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable with using hand tools and learnt a lot of things, but I'm definitely not ready to go out on my own and build a boat yet. But, um, yeah, I'm heading in the right direction for sure. I've always been interested in woodwork, but naively thought it was a man's field. Um, I was watching a TV programme and there was a girl at the Lime Regis Academy um, and it just inspired me straight away. So you use a copper row and you put it over the copper nail and you use a dolly to hit it in and then it's just flattening the head of the nail and that's fastening the plank. So you pop the row on here, put the punch on there and hit it in. Ready Bob? Then you cut the copper nail and then you flatten it out. Okay. I go the mantra, anyone can do anything. Um, you do need a lot of strength. This is really bulking me up, I'm not going to lie. It's all quite intense and fast paced. There's a lot to learn in a year. Um, but you just got to be patient. And as I said, they're all approachable and no sat for you everything there is to know about the boats and woodwork. Uh, I've been boat building in one form or another for most of my working life, so 50, 50 odd years, something like that. I wanted to work on wooden boats at school actually, and that was where it all started. I think I had the opportunity as a schoolboy school at the time to do woodwork and metalwork. Teaching as I am now, three years, just over three years, um, learned a lot about working with younger people, students, um, and all, all obviously older ones as well, and not all young. Uh, it's just great to interact with them and be part of their life, <clears throat> help them learn. Most recently I was in sales, working in South West London. Um, nothing in the slightest bit to do with anything that I'm doing right now, so I was just looking for something that was uh, completely different, um, something that would provide me with a bit of a challenge and something that would hopefully give me some skills uh, uh, to, to follow on with. I'd worked with wood back when I was at school, sort of design technology sort of thing, but not, 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 in, any, not in any useful capacity. You know, previous job was, I knew what I was going to be doing for that day and the rest of the week, and it was all pretty much the same sort of thing. Um, here, you have no idea what you're going to expect. You may have come in in the morning and the weather's changed and your work's all changed with it and so you've got to sort that out first or you realise that you know the last thing you did in the evening the day before has completely changed what you needed to do and you spend the first couple of hours sorting that out before you can carry on with what you're going to be doing in the first place. I've been stuck in a rut for years now. Um, I turned 30 last year and as I said I came across this from watching a TV programme pretty much. Um, I'm not sure I want to go into boat building yet, but it's a great transferable skill. If you've got the tra craftsmanship to boat build, you can do anything with woodwork. Um, I could just go to a basic joinery class and learn something, but I wouldn't have the skills that I'm doing here. 
Um, so at the moment I've come into this as a transferable skill, but I'm really enjoying the, the building side of it. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do next, I'm not entirely sure yet, but let's wait and see. Everyone has different ways of learning. I can't sit there and read a book and learn something. I'm the type of person, I can watch you demonstrate something once and I'll pick it up. I could read a book over and over again and it just doesn't go in properly. Um, so this being such a practical thing to do, for my way of learning, it's just perfect for me. A, a lad, um, if I can use his name, Jess, um, he had a really tough time in his early years. and I wouldn't say he didn't get the support that he needed, but it wasn't as much as he perhaps could have had. Um, but he decided through the early part of his working career to focus on learning um, and picking up on things that he'd missed early on in life. Uh, and it was so nice to feel that you could help him. Um, and you really feel like you had helped him as well because of the feedback that you got. I have some memorable experiences, yeah. It's really nice to know that that you can help somebody who has maybe had a tough upbringing and they decided they want to take this career on and you can contribute quite a lot that they may have missed in their early youth or childhood. It was probably later on in my career when I worked in a local boatyard at Emsworth that um, I met a chap called Don uh, who was a time served shipwright and spent quite a lot of time working on boats and I think in some respects he took me under his wing, believe it or not, and carried me forward and gave me quite a lot more confidence, really, and helped me. So I'm perhaps passing on what he helped me with in some respects. I would say it's very important to be that person. Uh, whether I fulfil that person <laughs> or not, I don't know. But yeah, I think they need to, somebody to, to look up to, particularly the younger ones. You can't always change the mind of the older ones, but you can bond with them and share experiences and talk. So yes, I'd say it's certainly an important thing to be able to, to do and I hope we can achieve that here. Um, ideally, uh, the aim or a pipe dream is to get down to, to, get down to Cornwall. Um, Cornwall's a big place for, for, for boat building. It's where a lot of the top boat builders tend to, tend to congregate and end up. Well, we finished joinery, so as we talked about last time, that was that was nice to, to to feel like you've created all the things that were needed for joinery and get you out into the boatyard. Um, in regard to anything else, no, I mean we're, we're still sort of taking it each day as it comes. I would love to work on a new build from you know start to finish, a traditional wooden boat, watch it go through a lofting phase and make the moulds, build around those and do the whole thing but obviously a lot of the work is going to be restoration, small little you know, repairs and that sort of thing so it, it really just depends on, on, on who's hiring and what work they've got but if, uh, if there is a, a chance to work on a new build then yeah, definitely go for that. It's like an extended family I would say really, There's, as I said the staff are really warm and to work with and the students are really nice people to work with. Sometimes the students need more support for one reason or another, um, and I just feel happy that we can provide that support. But there's no such thing as a male or female job anymore. Um, anyone can do anything, and I think I'm proving that by being here and doing this. And I'm just telling everyone, if there's something you want to do, just go for it. Don't think anything can ever stop you. A lot of people seem to just get by just fine doing a job that they don't necessarily have seen themselves as a kid doing, but um, I mean, I'm always one to say go and try something new. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you've, if you've even just had that thought, go ahead and do it, why not try it? <laughs>